You like keep going up. Like I swear we're on the third floor. Wait, six floors? Hello everyone and good morning. You guys know that we are heading out of town today. We are heading to beautiful Park City. We've got a lot to get done today. We're gonna get started early. I just got back from a run. It feels earlier than it is. It's eight o'clock. We are planning on going up there, staying for five days, and it's gonna be really awesome. We plan on mostly making food at the house and trying to do things around, not be out too much. We're gonna go have some fun for sure. I figure for most of the meals I would cook at the house. We can even order in. I've made a list of everything I wanna make, everything that's on the menu, and I've gotta gather things from the house to get ready to go. I went to the party store yesterday and gathered up a ton of fun birthday decorations for Brandon's birthday so we can decorate the house to really make it feel like his birthday. And then went through, made a list of everything I need. So I'm gonna go around the kitchen right now and gather up everything. And some stuff, it's like one cup of powdered sugar. So I'm just gonna get some little baggies or containers and gather everything up, take as much as I can. getting everything put together. We're gonna take way more food than I thought and I need way more than I thought. This is madness. We've never really traveled to a location where we bring our own food, but since I can this time, I'm like, that's smarter. But oh my stars, this is a lot of crap. I went through and got the things that I could take in bags, just took a couple cups of each of those because I know I need like maybe one or two cups, but I wasn't sure, so I just took a huge bag to bring home whatever I don't use. Baking soda, because it is the 4th of July, I'm gonna make some treats that have red and blue food color. I needed coconut extract. I don't know if the house is gonna have nine by 13s and I had these on hand, so I decided to bring them. Just a lot of stuff. The kids are gonna want snacks and rather going and buying snacks, let's just take what we have. Fourth of July and birthday decor. My list here is going. Everything that's circled is from the refrigerator. So I have a lot more to pack, but I'm gonna do that just before we leave. Cruise orthodontist appointment is today. I'm very excited and anxious for him. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs> gonna be missing a few teeth by the time we're done. I'm gonna go get ready and get him going to his appointment. Going somewhere fun. To the orthodontist we go. <laughs> we are going on vacation later today. But first, we have to take this stud to the orthodontist. Brushing his teeth every day has been a little bit of a challenge because why? It hurts because there's so many loose teeth. <laughs> Eight of them. How many teeth do you think you're gonna come out of there with today? At least four. Four teeth? He's like, Mom, I'm gonna look so weird. No, you're not. But every kid kind of goes through that weird phase. <laughs> We just barely got here. I just washed my mask. It smells really good inside, so that's a perk. Walking in, gonna get our temperature taken and head on up. I'm grab an x-ray on you today. Ooh. I'll hold your mask. He's kind of curious because he has a lot of loose teeth. Like all my teeth, I feel like they're falling out. You might be losing some soon. Don't pull any of them. <laughs> They're so weird. Hey, you <laughs> might lose that guy today. Are they wiggly? Yeah. Can they'll come out today? This yeah. one probably. Oh, don't pull it right now. <laughs> he just got back to Cruz's seat and he wants to try and pull his tooth out. <gasps> oh my gosh, you just did. Finish it off. It hurts. One, two, three. Well, don't hurt yourself. Hanging by a thread, though. It's like dingling. I pulled it a little bit more. Taking a break on that one, but now he's pulling out a different one. <gasps> Dude, you just pulled out your tooth. Here, I'll take it. I'll go rinse it off for you. That was like easy peasy. You're bleeding a lot. Let me grab it. Bite down hard. Kruby has pulled one tooth out. He has another one. The orthodontist will have to pull because it's just dangling. I don't know if he has any more to pull out. He's doing pretty good and he's being really tough. I'm gonna do red, white, and blue. My teeth are gonna be white. They're gonna be red and blue. The top, I want to be blue and the bottom to be red. red. Yeah. Fire it. You got it. Just hanging on by a little bit. That one is really wiggly. When you sneeze, you better have your hands up ready to catch that one. It's really, really loose. <laughs> Generally, you like to pull them? Yeah, so we, we have a bracket on those teeth, not because we're concerned with the position of the baby teeth, it's just for his comfort. You end up having a long span, it tends to be less comfortable for the patient. So the way that works is the wire is gauged in that brace and it's holding that tooth in until the wire comes out, which only happens here in the office. So you'll lose them here. So we're gonna see, a couple of those will be ready to come out before we let you go today, okay? And if they're not ready, we just wait till next time. The other thing that we're looking at 
in the x-ray is our overall spacing requirements and that's looking really good. When we see you next time, we're going to take the braces off. We'll have the space we need by next time. We'll have the retainers that'll maintain that tooth correction until the permanent teeth all come in, okay? Most of the work happens in that second phase. We only have two objectives in this first phase. Get him out to the proper width and create enough space for mm -hmm. permanent teeth to come in. We will have accomplished that by next time, okay? Yay! I'm going to focus on your right hand, okay? If your right hand goes up, I'm going to immediately freeze. You should know <laughs> I'm a world-class red light, green light player. I'm so good at freezing. If I see your hand goes up, I'm gonna freeze. I might breathe, but that's about the only thing that'll be moving, okay? When you give me the thumbs up, feeling okay, then we'll just wiggle it a little bit more. If they're not ready today, it's gonna be too uncomfortable, then we just leave it. Do it next time. What? Okay. <laughs> just like that, it comes out. There we go. We're on a roll here. Second tooth down. Going up to Park City. Wait, did you just do another one? Yes. Oh my gosh, crew. Wait, did you just do another one? You got it. Is that four or five? That's three right now. I already lost one, so four what? total. Oh, that so is there's four. four teeth. Yeah. Tooth fairy oh, better so get ready. Right wow. There. We're going to keep the tooth fairy busy tonight. And I think you get paid double when there's a brace on. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna watch your right hand, okay? We've got one more, I think, that's going to be ready. Doing okay? Give me the thumbs up that I can start moving. Still doing okay? <laughs> wow. Wait, there's Get another one! Right. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. Kurt, how many teeth is that? I think it's five. I think it is five. It's I five, we, buddy. It's the number so high we lost count. There's all five of your teeth with brackets. That's impressive. But I'm not done yet! Wait, we might be going for number six here. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that it? That was it. There's number six. <laughs> they just pulled six teeth out of crew. Okay, he pulled one. He did it so fast, they just like pull it and put it away, start another one. I've never seen anything like that. He's got six teeth going under the pillow tonight. Now we gotta play springs so that we can keep that space in Crew's mouth. Kirby, this was quite impressive, bud. He actually has two more that could come up, but we're gonna wait till next time. You hold the record for the most most teeth ripped out here. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, dude, you have so many holes. You have these two that still need to come out. They look awesome, though. Want to see what those wires look like? Isn't that crazy? This is weird. We are just leaving. Boy. <laughs> I also Six love the teeth. colors that you chose. No, I feel like we kind of got past the six teeth, and we're like, yeah, who cares what colors? Who cares about the springs? Whatever else is going on. Everyone was like, that is so impressive. We've never had anyone lose that many teeth here. Record holder. Most excited for you to go home and tell Dad. Yeah. And they gave us cookies. They're back to baking cookies. Dude, pay up. You don't get both of them. I drove you here. God. You're the best. Kirby Dude is so dang excited. He can barely stand it. Go see if they're in there. B, come here. Oh my gosh, you have a baggie. You have a baggie. You just walked in, Cruz. Super excited to tell Dad, but it's not as like as exciting as it may seem. He has a baggie of something. I don't know what this is. Hazy well, they have to give you a baggie if you have one tooth, silly. I'll show you this first. <laughs> Dude, then I'll show you this. <laughs> <laughs> I lost six. Six teeth? I've never seen teeth with brackets and you have six of them in here. Dude, show me that. It's like got a hula hoop on it. What is it that? It has a hula hoop. Look at so that. it's saving, it's keeping the space for all of the holes. You are you missing everything except for the very front grill. It's all gone. It looks good though. These two you thought are it looked close, weird. I think it looks good. but they didn't want to just like rip him out because they didn't want to hurt him. Dude, what do you think? I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. He he's, was worried they would look kind of weird, but I think it looks great. so excited. <laughs> look at that. Cash, baby. Woo, tooth fairy. Six of them. Six of them? Did Six they of them with brackets. Hey, double with brackets? I heard that somewhere. Yeah, really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> really dirty. That's blood. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. The Pretty whole cool, thing huh? is cool. Very yeah. cool. I love it, dude. I love it. <laughs> we are packing up to head out of town. Crew has completely emptied his mouth of teeth. Now it's time to fill the car with food. Somehow, those go together. We have got food for days here. Mom, are we staying a month? What's the plan? No, we're just a huge family. <laughs> yes, we are. We are a big family. We love to eat junk when we travel. So we got a bunch of it right here. We're going to load up the car. I guess that's why. Bags of food. Like we got Maddie. Maddie. Rummaging the Look fridge. at that. Suitcases. Got to throw these in the car. We're going to find a place for all this. We got human beings. Things, suitcases and food all got to fit in the car as we load up and head out to Park City for birthday week and 4th of July, baby. Let's go! Had to get a little bit Tetrisy, a little bit tricky on a new level here. We've got suitcases, food, kids. We've got everything now. We do have some tricky seating assignments here. We've got one bag right here. Somebody's gonna be doing some crisscross applesauce above that. I think if we put Hazy here, what do you think, Hazel? I'm gonna stand in the middle. Middle? Okay, we can do that. We can just move the bag there. Two kids can go back there. Three kids here. Two adults there. I think we're gonna fit, guys. I think we're gonna make it. And the most critical and essential part of vacation: Theo Hey Vacation shirt coming out, making an appearance as we head up to Park City for the week. I'm so excited. Now I'm just curious to see how many times we have to turn around to see if we forgot something. We can't fit anything else, so we couldn't have forgotten it. <laughs>
Guys, here's our home. We have arrived at our home for the next, I don't know, a few days. We'll be here for the rest of the week, you guys. The birthday house, 4th of July house. Now it comes complete with its own wildlife. Look, there's a lion. There's a lion here. <laughs> he changed in the car. We are going to do a very quick and dirty tour of this house as we are seeing it for the first time. So here is room number one right as you're coming through the garage. Queen bunk beds. Queen bunks, loving it. Let's come in here. Bedroom number two. Oh, two queens in here, you guys. Double queens in here. TV, dressers, everything. Hey, love it. Let's go to the next one. Up these stairs. Big wide stairs. Love it. Oh, guys. Pool hall. TV. Party house. Oh, I just turned on one light and it just doubled down to this, bro. Look at this. It's kind of like a game room. We got the TV. Pool table. Next, let's keep going. Keep going, guys. Keep touring the house here. What do we got in here? Bathroom. We did the bathroom downstairs another bedroom here we go check it out Ooh, okay i like oh look and it's own bathroom inside coming up the stairs whoa opening up into another how many levels is it because it's kind of deceptive we're on our third level now well, this is the front door so that's the main door we came through the garage you guys so as you come in through the front door main sitting area here whoa look at this wow this opens up huge holy cow you guys look at this Incredible. This is what I'm stoked about. Just some patio balcony seating looking out over the deer valley out there fan Fantastic, you guys. Hey, look at that, BNG for Bing. They do that on purpose? Thank you, Bingham. Big giant fireplace, TV, hot tub, hot tub out back. Check it out, hot tub. It's very oddly like built. I, I remember in Park City, oh, look, a huge dining table. Wow, we need to have some people over for dinner. Rexy, what do you got, what do you got? Show me, show me, show me. You like keep going up. Like I swear There's we're on the six third. Six floors. Wait, six floors? Yes. Wait, right guy. oh my gosh. Yeah, six floors? More than floors? Holy this. cow. <laughs> so this is the fourth. We're on the fourth floor right now. This is the fourth <laughs> landing. Another bedroom right here. Washer and dryer right there. What do we got over here? More bedrooms over here? I think so. Another bedroom. I like this bedroom. Maddie, choose anyone you want. There are plenty to choose from. I don't think we've even seen them all. Okay, coming up to the fifth floor. Fifth floor. Keep going. Tour continues. Yes. We found the best one. Office, a desk, fun loft, looking out over here. Wait, what the? Holy cow. Are you kidding me? This is a room. This is the level of a house. Oh my gosh. Look at this. What the heck? Oh, look at this. Look at our fun bathtub right here with like fog glass. Yeah, so you can still catch a view there. This is going to be a rad view, you guys. Looking out over the valley. Fun tub right here. Sweetie, this room is... I think we should have invited a few more people <laughs> yeah, they... to stay with us. <laughs> oh my gosh, sweetie. Look at our view out there yeah, over the mountains. Beautiful. That is an incredible view out the window there, you guys. It's like a full sitting area, but it's just your bedroom. What an yeah, incredible bedroom. And now here we go up to the last, final, and sixth floor. That's your bedroom. More bedrooms. Wait, what? This is another master. Bedroom. Wait, a second master. <laughs> look at this bedroom. What is going on with this house right now? Eddie, this could be yours if you want like a sick pad. I did it, George. Wow. Wow, you guys. So there you have it. Very quick and dirty house tour of this place today. As we saw it first, walking in with us. This is incredible. <laughs> Hazel, is this where you're going to sleep? We got seven bedrooms and you want to sleep on no, this rug. <laughs> The bunk bed did look fun, did look fun. Funny because I actually remember staying in Park City when I was a kid, we had like some family get togethers and my uncle rented a house. This is pre Airbnb, so I don't really know how we got those houses. But I remember specifically how fascinated I was with the design of the homes that they had five and six floors because it's not a traditional, like a six story building. But the way that they're built is that you take a few flights of stairs up and there's a landing, some rooms, then you go up again, some more landings, some room. So in the end, you feel like you're in a six story house in Park City. Six floors, kids are freaking out about it. Plenty of room, plenty of space to roam, to hang out, and to just chill for the rest of this Let's week. Celebrate the birthday boy. <laughs> If I've learned anything from Mindy's Best, it is to unpack and move in when you arrive at your destination. So I've just finished up unpacking, putting my stuff away in the closet somewhere around in there. I wanted to go show you, right, guys? actually unpacked by yourself this time? <laughs> oh my gosh, busted and owned by my son. But I want to show everybody your access to the hot tub. Should we go, Sean? Oh my gosh, you guys can go see. This is Hazel's room. Oh, that's right. Hazel's got her own room right off to the side. Thank yeah, you, Hazel. This is my room right here. Oh, take us in. I gotta take us in. We got the big bed, TV. We got the closet, all the plugs. But if you come in here, legendary shower. That's all. I'm sorry that was the shortest store ever just kidding come right here and we got the hot tub outdoor access. hot tub access right guys got an exclusive vip entrance to the hot tub i hear you guys in the hot tub i might add has got the most stunning scenery you could possibly fathom for a hot tub guys look at this wide open spaces open mountain i really hope we get some wildlife one listen to that listen to the birds i hope we get some deer wanting through here maybe some moose oh, you never know something amazing i guess
guess. Something amazing. I don't know. It could be incredible. This is the view right outside of mine and mom's window. Uh, we'll be doing probably every night here in the hot tub. We plan on cooking up some burgers on the 4th of July. Just having a nice little barbecue. This is our own little slice of heaven out here to celebrate my birthday. Just to yes. be together as a family. Just getting away from it all. Slowing things down. Hanging out together as a family. Making memories. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Guys, all I wanted was to see some wildlife, some kind of deer, something to wander through this field during our stay here. Day one, night one, deer right there. Oh dear, this is gonna be a great trip. Getting in the hot tub tonight. Oh yeah, baby. All my dreams pretty much coming true. There is a deer oh. right there at the white tree line. We are hot tubbing. Deer side. We're gonna shut it down hot tub side. Closing out official day one. Today was a big day for crew with his braces and also coming to this amazing house. Day that this video posted is this guy's birthday, so make sure you drop a happy birthday down below in the comments. If Go show him some if love you if you can. Go on over to Instagram and wish him a happy birthday. You guys are the greatest. We're gonna have so much fun on my birthday. We have so many fun things planned. You've gotta come back. We're talking roller coasters, slides, all kinds of crazy fun stuff. It's gonna be unreal. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.